Hello everybody, this is Michael Zingar from the 28mm Wargaming Sci-Fi Show. Uh, this is going to be another video in my series of getting prepared for a uh, frost grave. I swung by the hobby shop today and uh, there's some Reaper Bones miniatures that I just couldn't um, not get. Um, so what I ended up getting was, and I'll give you the numbers and we'll pop them out of the box and do an unboxing. I ended up getting this Town Folks uh, Undertaker. There's his number 77143. I'm going to use him as a uh, treasure hunter. So let's uh, look at him up close. He's only armed with the shovel, but basically uh, with the soldier's box that I got on order. Let's see if we can get him. It's tough to do these bones when they're white. Very contrasty. I got a little light going on. But basically, it's like a bones mantra. It's got good detail. This one's the Undertaker. I'm going to use him as a treasure hunter. Uh, basically, what I was saying about the, the box set is that um, we uh, basically, anybody who's holding that lantern, we kind of count them as a treasure hunter or has got the rope. But uh, the lantern is kind of our symbol and then we arm them how we like. So he's going he's gonna to make a nice miniature. <clears throat> okay, I don't have a lot of thieves in my collection. This guy is... Uh, Rogan the Assassin, uh, 77224 is his number, and basically it's a nice guy that's uh, armed with two daggers, and he's wearing a, uh, a mask or a cloth over his face, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the dagger's a little bent. Uh, that one, when you're working with bones, you can fix them two ways. You can take a heat gun and blast them with heat. Or, um, my wife's got a really killer, uh, hair dryer. that heats them up pretty good. And then, uh, get them bent to where you want them and then dip them in cold water real quick. Or you can use hot water treatment too. That works. It's a little bit more, uh, messy than the, the high air, but. It's still good, but he will work it excellent. Nice, real nice mini. Come on, camera. Let's see if the hand trick helps. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But anyways, he's armed correctly. It's got nice detail. So, that's a good one. <clears throat> and then I also picked up another assassin. And these assassins can uh, basically double as a thief. This is uh, 77030. And his name is Darnar, the male assassin. <clears throat> and I believe these are kind of older bone sculpts. Because, uh, story I go to, it's got a good selection, but not a great selection. So he's got a really nice look. And he'll work totally fine. It's, uh, another assassin or a thief. For the monster end. Oh. Bought this nice vampire here holding a chalice and sword. He's got his wings out, so I guess that is a, that's a cape. But you can play it off his wings, too. So, probably we just can't get a good... 
Well, now you know why you don't see a lot of Bones uh, mini reviews on the, the net. So he's got nice detail. Everything you expect from a Bones miniature. You know, the detail's not as deep as a metal miniature, but, you know, what can you say? I paid $3 for this guy, so. All right. And then the last one I have is uh, Jade Tiger. He's a monk, uh, 774221. He's holding two uh, you know, Chinese sickle weapons. And basically, uh, how I view this guy. Uh, the guys that are unarmed are going to be the martial art, uh, artists with the, the power fist. And the guys with any kind of Chinese weapons are going to be the other martial artists. So, it's a real nice sculpt. You can kind of see him a little bit better there. And he'll work. So, uh, to give the prices for the monk, paid two forty nine. For the vampire, I paid $2.99. For the uh, male assassin, Darnar, I paid $2.50. And $2.79 for the other assassin. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Let's kind of put them down here and see if the camera will focus on it a little bit better. Just to give you some scale comparisons between them. I think they're going to work out great. This guy's a little bit skinny, but you know, if he was a big beefy guy, he'd be a fighter. Let me adjust the, uh, the tripod and see if we can get some better focus on these guys. Okay, we're going a little bit closer. So that's what they look like. We'll get a camera some time to focus on it. Let me tighten the tripod real quick. So basically, you know, the nice thing about Frost Grave is you can use any figure per se, and uh, these will make nice additions to the party. Uh, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Um, uh, if you got cool uh, miniatures that you're using for your Frost Grave War bands, uh, give me a video response. Uh, make me comments in the bottom and stuff like that. And uh, I want to thank you guys for all watching. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to do Patreon on this channel, but what I would like if you guys got unloved, unwanted, stuff you don't want to paint. You know, things you can't use, sci-fi, fantasy, medieval, World War II, any miniatures you got. Um, I'd be happy to give them a home, and what I do with them is, uh, well, I use them at home, but I also uh, take them uh, to uh, the community center uh, and play with uh, teenage uh, kids, kids that are uh, tweeners, basically. And it's to give them something to do during the winter time. You know, uh, it is a little bit popular to do summer, but not like it is in winter. Uh, basically, uh, and you know, kids being kids, they get overexcited and they steal something. And I'm, I'm not going to get bent out of shape. I mean, I'm not going to let someone rob the other kid's blind. But, you know, I lose a couple of minis uh, once or, you know, about every other time. So if you guys could donate the miniatures, I'd be happy to get them here to Chi-Town. I'll pay the shipping, get them all boxed up, get them weighed up, and uh, I'll be happy to do it. You know, I'll feature them on uh, the end of one of my episodes and stuff like that. And then uh, once they get painted up, I'll showcase those also and uh, give you guys credit for doing it because you're a nice person if you do this. All right, enough with the begging already. Um, I want you guys to 
uh, play more Frostgrave. If you're not playing Frostgrave, what are you doing with your life? All right, uh, like and subscribe, uh, share if you can, and may the dice be with you.